Good afternoon, guys. This is Darren coming to you from a keg art on Instagram. Um, I'm going to do some painting on this uh, Biltwell lane splitter that we drew out uh, earlier today. And um, I'm going to be using some alpha enamel ivory. And I'm, I'm using a uh, Mac triple zero dagger for some of my line work and then i'm going to use my i'm going to use a uh, tidwell a mac tidwell slim which is like my go-to for uh doing the lettering so i've i've put out some alpha enamel um this is manuel's uh, ivory i put out some on my palette which is a big thick magazine catalog on a clipboard and I've rinsed out all the oil and stuff. And uh, the idea that I do is I get all the oil out, get it rinsed and, and dry it out real good. You don't want to, you don't want to take it. You want to dry out all the, the mineral spirits. You don't want to take it straight to pouting because you'll, you'll flood out your paint. The, the alpha enamel is um, really, really palatable right out of the bottle. So anyway, you just want to load up your brushes. Um, you want to load up from the ferrule down onto the hairs. Get it loaded up real good. If you want to pull a couple lines for starters, you can. And uh, just kind of drag it through there. You want just a little bit of tack. And uh, we're going to start out by pulling a couple of lines on this guy. And the cool part is, is we have we have this edge right here for a guideline for um, for a line. So anyway, if uh, you can kind of see here, I'm just gonna use this guideline. I'm just kind of holding the helmet. drop it in that line then I'm gonna come up here just hook up with the beginning of that pull down I'm gonna let out a little bit early there so I can turn it around and uh, finish that for a clean edge and then I'm also gonna pick up here I'm also rolling the helmet just a little bit. So there I've got I've got my lines laid down where I want my art to be. And I'm gonna switch to uh, I'm gonna switch to my um, Tidwell Slim and I'm gonna load it up on the palette. Again, it's if I rinsed I rinsed all the oil out with mineral spirits, and as I'm palleting it, I'm also spinning it so that it loads up the hairs. And uh, this is like the slim. It's a fun one. It's my go-to every day. I've got several variants of them. I've uh, they're they're just a great brush right out of the tube. But anyway, I've got that loaded up. I'm gonna go back here and try see if you guys can see but I'll get a another perspective too I don't know if you guys were able to see that but I'll try to pull it again go over it sometimes with the lighter colors they can be a little bit transparent, so sometimes you might be, you might have to go over them just a little bit, but that's all right. And I'm bringing the beginning and the end of each letter to 
my lines that I striped for my border. Just take it easy, just pull the brush, let the paint flow, there's no need to hurry it. If you pull a line too fast, it's going to thin out on you and you'll get some streaks. And the more you palette your brush, the more it's going to tack up on you. So eventually you're going to want to put a little bit of mineral spirits in that. You just don't need to use a lot because it'll thin out and it'll puddle up on your pal on your surface that you're painting. So maybe up here you can see the A a little bit better. Typically, I like to be right on top of where I'm working, but I'm trying to show you guys what I'm doing also. Just real gently, and you don't wanna, with this little edge right here on the helmet, you don't wanna drop your brush down too low because you'll, you'll catch that ledge with your brush and you'll get paint on it. This alpha enamel, you can palette it for a long time without even having to put mineral spirits in it. But you'll know when you're paletting once you need to add mineral spirits because it'll tack up a little bit on your palette. I'm gonna heavy up just the bottom of this A a little bit. These these pre or these initial lines that I laid in there make for great guidelines too. You know that's where you want to start and stop your letters. You don't want to lift up when you're when you're ending a line. You don't want to lift up fast. You want to just make sure you're right where you want to stop and just kind of slowly come to a stop and lift up. If you lift up too fast, it's going to make a weird ending point. So I'm going to, with this S and this T, I'm going to have to switch to a different perspective for you guys so that I can get on top of things here. stand up and get on top of the letters and hopefully you guys can see what's going on you always have to be aware of where your wet paint is where your fingers are at all that stuff A lot of times I literally hold my breath when I'm pulling a line just to stay a little more steady. So if I'm not talking while I'm pulling a line, that's why.
I palette my brush a lot just so that I know, even if I'm not thinning it, I palette it a lot so that I know the brush hairs are groomed for each stroke I want to make. If you try to do several lines with one palette, you see there I got a little paint right there on that ledge. So I'm going to wipe it with my, my finger, but then I'm going to come back in with a rag. There, I got it off. I'm going to come back in and clean that up a little bit. Um, but anyway, if you, if you try to make multiple lines with one palette, it's going to dry out on you. All right, so I'm um, going to drop in the top line on this T. dry stroke there so I'm going to drop back in and heavy it up a little bit you always want to make sure your hands are clean too when you're doing this so that you don't leave any oil where the paint will go over it Slow and steady wins the race. That one's a little dry, so I'm gonna clean it up just a little bit, add a little bit of mineral spirits to my brush, try and get through these last couple lines. I work off my pinky with just about all line work, even striping and stuff, so. drop that in there all right so we've got that laid in and uh, basically I'm gonna let that dry before I continue on with my outline and drawing and other stuff I want to show that to you uh, anyway uh, there'll be a full video on my YouTube page McKegg Art, and I'll have a little introductory video on my Instagram page McKegg Art. Thanks for tuning in guys. Subscribe to the Instagram page, leave some comments and uh, keep your brushes wet. Thank you, McKegg Art. Have a good day.